Worst NHL Contracts, Jeff Skinner Jeff Skinner has one of the worst contracts in the league right now because of one good season with the Buffalo Sabres, and it will come back to haunt them in the future. The Buffalo Sabres, being the Buffalo Sabres, had no planning for the future when they signed Skinner to this deal, because had they planned for the future, they would not have re-signed him to this deal. In the midst of a 40 goal season, Jeff Skinner was re-signed to an 8 year deal worth 9 million per season. After signing this massive contract, Skinner put up a measly 14 goals and 23 points in 59 games during the 2019-20 season. Skinner is 28 right now and still has 7 years left on the deal with a cap hit of 9 million per season. The biggest issue with this contract is that Skinner's production was a byproduct of playing with Jack Eichel, and his best seasons with Carolina came when he was playing with bad teams and was playing heavy minutes. Skinner's production dipped during the 2019-20 season because the Sabres decided to play Skinner on a different line as they wanted to spread out their offense. Unfortunately for the Sabres, that had disastrous results as Skinner underperformed and was invisible unless on the power play. Only 20 players are paid more than Jeff Skinner, yet 297 players had more points than him. There is no nice way to say this, but Jeff Skinner's contract is absolutely horrible and they are really going to regret it when Skinner is 30 cause when he is 30, he is really going to decline and he is still going to be paid 9 million per season for another 5 seasons. This contract wouldn't be as bad if Skinner were producing, but the issue is he is not producing. For me, players that are making 9 million per season should be star players in their own right, and they shouldn't have to rely on other star players for their production. Since his production was heavily dependent on playing with Jack Eichel, I don't think he was worth this contract. In the modern NHL, if you want to win a Stanley Cup, you need to be strong at center, defense, and in goal. But you can't do that if a winger like Skinner is taking up 9 million per season. While Jeff Skinner still could have a bounce back season next year, that doesn't take away from the fact that he is signed to one of the worst contracts in the league. To make matters worse, it will be very hard to find another team to take on his contract because of his high cap hit. On the next episode of Best NHL Contracts, I feature David Pasternik.